Okay, geometry here is chapter two, section five. We have seven postulates to go through here. So these are seven basic things that we're just going to accept are true. So basically through any two points, there are there is exactly one line. Um, hopefully you can accept that as being a true statement. Um, hold on a second. So if you're looking at this point A and this point B and you want to draw as many lines as you possibly can that will go through A and B, I think you'll find that no matter what I do, there is one line that actually goes through those two. So we have one line that will go through any two points. Let's actually make that into a line. There we go. Okay. So one line goes through any two points. Our next one, 2, 2. Uh, through any three points not on the same line, there is exactly one plane. Um, so if you wanted to see a video, let me see if I can get to my link here. This is a great link right here. Uh, I can control C, close that up. That video is actually at that place. If you do a Google search for three nonlinear points to turn on a plane, you should come up with that. Um, and then this other one, its link is here. And that's the other one that I'm going to show. Um, so those are two great videos. I'm not going to include them here because they're already out on the internet for you. So you might want to watch those two videos. So anyways, if you've got any three points, um, there's only one plane that could touch all three of those points. If you named different planes, you'd actually be naming the same plane. It's kind of like the two lines or the two points here. There's only one line I can draw through those two points. I can name them different things, but it's still just the same line. Okay. So there's postulate 2, 2. Three points determine a plane is what we say. So exactly one plane goes through those three points. And this goes back to that stool thing I was talking about. Um, if you have a three-legged stool, it will not wobble because those three bottoms of the three legs will make a flat surface. So it can't wobble. A postulate 2, 3. A line contains at least two points. So if we go back here, two points will give you one line. Well, if you have two point, a line, you have two points on that line. And you can name them something. Okay. So two points. There is definitely at least two points on that line. Okay, two four. A plane contains at least three points. Okay, so if I've got a plane, then I am allowed to say that I have three points on that plane. There are at least three points on there. So x, y, and z. So given any plane, I have at least three points on that plane because you have to be able to name it, so you can put three points on there and give it a name. So that's postulate 2-4. Postulate 2-5. If two points lie in a plane, then the entire line containing those points lies in the plane. So if I've got two points in my plane, and then I have a line, and my line goes through those two points, then my line has to be the entire thing on the plane. Okay, so that entire line, so if that is points A, B, points A, and point B, and it is on plane B, and let's give it a plane B, so go down to aerial, or go down to, okay, so I've got my scripted capital letter for my name of my plane, so line A, B has to be entirely inside of plane B. Even if I draw it like this, where it looks like it's shooting out the end, it is still not shooting out the end. Remember, planes go on forever in all directions, so that entire line is on that plane. And if, even if I put this point out here and call it C, if A and B are on plane B, then C is also on that plane, even though it's not drawn that way. Okay, so that's postulate 2, 5, is if two points are in a plane, then the entire line is also in that plane, even if it's not drawn that way. It's still point C is in plane A, point plane B here. 
postulate two six. If two lines intersect, intersect, then their intersection is exactly one point. So two lines cannot intersect in more than one point in our Euclidean geometry that we're studying. So that is my intersection point P. And anytime you have two intersecting lines, you can name the intersection by a point. We know it's there. And the last one for the section, if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. So hopefully you can see the line right through here. And I could actually draw it. There's a line right here where those two planes intersect. There's a line right here where those two planes intersect. There's a line right here where those two planes intersect. Okay, so two planes intersect at a line. It's a postulate. Again, these are all things that we accept as true. We don't have to prove them. We just accept them in the rules that we're going to play by. So those are our seven postulates to start out with.